looking at the weather out there it's not looking as good as it was yesterday on our last episode but we're gonna head out into the desert and hopefully we can find an earth cache but I see rain on the horizon and it looks like a bad weather report see what we can get next on Cache Canada Welcome to Las Vegas. Vegas. We're gonna take you on a whole lot of adventures on a mini cash tour. Yeah, let's go. at the places that we go and uh, it's not without a lot of worry sometimes uh, we always wonder about what we're getting ourselves into because <laughs> uh, this road we have to travel another 13 kilometers to get to uh, the earth cache before we have to leave the road and then hike about a kilometer to the uh, ground zero a lot of times I wonder what the heck am I doing and uh, hopefully we can get out of it without uh, too much injury and uh, injury to ourselves or the car. <laughs> I mean, we had the option for an SUV. Maybe we should have taken it. <laughs> so far, so good. Yep, this is our version of a Sunday afternoon drive in the country. The Joshua trees here, they're just phenomenal that they could survive in this kind of climate. Okay, we're out of the vehicle and on our way to ground zero. We can see the object, the arches from here. We just want to get closer, get to where a ground zero actually is indicated, so we can make our observations. There are a few questions listed, so it's too bad. They're about erosion and weathering and something specific to answer to this that you need to see. It's not too bad, it's not too windy and uh, not too cold. We're gonna make the trek. noticing a difference in some of the rocks. There's one right here which is really dark and almost looks like it's petrified. Although it looks like more it's right right straight from the mountain. And then right next to it is the gray one and then some other ones nearby with gray and brown together. It's really odd.
starting to see a lot more what appears to be mountain goat scat little piles here and there according to the GPS we're about 1500 meters up and we're getting a little winded There's a stone pile. We're obviously walking where others have before, so that's a good sign. There are no waypoints along the route here, so that's not one of them. But maybe somebody did that uh, as their own waypoint. I don't know. There's no cache in it. <laughs> there are no caches out here, except the one we're after, which is just ahead. Another indication that somebody else has been here before, somebody called All. <laughs> uh, June of 2013. Six years ago. Dry riverbed, keeping our ears and our eyes open for sudden flash flood. So we don't want to get caught in that. And we're keeping our eyes open and ears open for rattlesnakes. Although it's probably too cold for them to be very active, but we're not from the area. So we're just trying to be extra careful. Well, up high enough again, we can finally see the car. It's way, way, way up there, right there. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> there's, a, there's a bit of a ravine there. And more evidence that people have been right where we are. Right over here. The golden arches of McDonald's, it is not. What it is, is are those golden arches in the Sheep Mountains. There it is, Earth Cache, and we've come all of this way, through all that terrain from our car way back there to a 45 minute drive down that road about an hour from Las Vegas, over 3,000 kilometers from home to log this one earth cache. <sighs> yeah, we're crazy. <laughs> yup. <laughs> cache! Canada! 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 So, the question you might ask is why? This cache is a four, three and a half. But a rating for an earth cache that we don't have to complete a full 81 squares of just earth caches. This will bring us one closer. And that's why we're here. Well, there you have it. We made it. We did. <laughs> hey, it looks like that cave is spitting us out. <laughs> <laughs> that is an achievement and a half. That was quite the hike. One of the main reasons we came here, and every time we go away, we're always on the search for a DT for an earth cache that we don't have. To bring us something to someplace spectacular like this. Yeah, so if you want to know why, this is it. And that side, <laughs> looks just as impressive as this side. Yeah, nice flat valley in behind, and we gotta hike back uh, out. Where's the car? <laughs> Way over there. I don't so see So this it. is Earth Cache Grid number 68. Oh my goodness. 68 unique Earth Cache Grids, or Earth Cache Squares, towards a full 81. 
Awesome. Almost there. <laughs> One square at a time. Yeah. And I built a little rock pile and uh, I'm going to litter a little bit. I've left a Cash Canada card under the rock pile right at ground zero. I don't know how long it'll last, probably not long, but if you're coming here to the, to the cave or the arch, check for Cash Canada. Cash Canada was here. It needs a, a roof. It needs roof, she says. There you go. You have to dig for it. <laughs> Come and find it. Thank you.